Welcome back, gamers! So, I've got some catching up to do because I haven't uploaded in like two weeks for MapleStory. Uh, <laughs> um, I might consecutively edit two videos right now actually because I think I have way too much footage for one video but I'll try to cut back on the explanation for the days um, I mean we're getting to the point where we're doing dailies for the most part every day and there's nothing new really um, so I will start to only cover the days that we have something new going on. For example, if I cube something or get a new piece of equipment. Um, but yeah, I've been pretty busy. Last week I started working at Kung Fu Tea <laughs> and it's been pretty fun so far and tiring. But, uh... Yeah, and it's cramping up my schedule a bit, but I, I try to make it work. Uh, anyways, we should get started with the video. So, we left up on the end of day 12. So for day 13, I again took advantage of the current event. I AFK'd with my shade on the EXP balloon. Um, Day 14, we did dailies, and we've started doing Choo Choo and Hungry Noodle. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, that's the level 210 part of Arcane River. Um, I will, can make a guide on that. If you guys would like, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, the PQ is pretty self-explanatory, uh, but there's some guides necessary to have on the side while you're doing the party quest. Um, I've also been doing Monster Park daily on my Kano. I want to get it to level 230 ASAP. Well, my goal is level 200 for now because even my main is only like 210 right now. Um, so we've been doing Monster Park and make sure to get the EXP from that since we do 7 runs daily anyways also you guys want to make sure that you cap on 30 candies every day um, it'll help out with the celestial points and the mushroom princess spawns I believe every hour on the 30 minute or Every half an hour. I don't remember which one it is, but I normally go for the half an hour one. So any hour, like 1.30, it would spawn 2.30, 3.30, etc. Um, and after that, we did daily. So right now, my typical daily routine is to run Zakum, uh, Horntail, Hill Up, <clears throat> and the four RA bosses on my Kana um, because those are fairly easy to do and gives pretty nice EXP, I mean Horntail at least. So I would go with my friends for those and then the harder bosses like Pap or Von Leon and Ark, um, Pink Bean, I like to do those on my dual blader for the extra DPS. Um, and this way I also cap out on contribution for both my characters for my guild. And with the remaining extra time on my stream that day, I just trained in the training grounds for the current event right now and try to get some extra EXP in for my Kana. So that's a typical day for me. Um, but on day 15, we actually did some extra stuff. We got fifth job on some of my mules. I just had a level 203, I believe, Wild Hunter hanging around. That was that was my first main ever in Reboot. 
um, and I also have a ice lightning that I wanted to main at some point but she's only level 200 I also love have a level 200 cadena so what I did was get fifth jobs on the ones that I don't have it on um, just so we can get the scrapyard and dark world tree started if I can get a friend to carry me uh, for the extra coins on all those characters that would be amazing um, and we also managed to get our shade finally to 140 for legion that's currently what I'm working on uh, I made a list of 140 characters that I want to aim for um, so we also started training our Hayato after getting our shade to 140. Again, we want to aim for 140. So what I've been doing to level these mules, I pretty much zack every day. Uh, and the character that I'm focusing on, I like to train in the training ground as well as run monster park and you can get it to 140 really quickly by using those methods um so for this day it was also sunday where we had a 5 10 15 star enhancement uh event so pretty much every time you get any equipment to five stars your next star is guaranteed um so to star six uh, it's a hundred percent and if you get an equipment to star 10 11 is guaranteed and so on and so forth uh, 15 stars you're guaranteed 16 um, so I actually had a bit of money that I saved up for cubing I decided to use that money for this event instead. I picked out a couple of selected equips that I knew was going to be endgame. Um, so I did my Sweetwater Katara, I did my CRA top and bottom. Um, because I know I'm eventually going to up. up upgrade to uh, Absolab and then Arcane. So here I actually thought I ran out of money, which I did, but I remembered that it was the end of the week and I have my Maple Tor paycheck. Um, and I've been doing seven runs every day with my Maple points that I had from selling stuff in Vera. And that gave me around 1.2 bill, which allowed me to finish my top. And then everything fell apart. Guys, the, <laughs> the inevitable happened. I boomed my pants on 0.6%. I can believe it. 0.6%, of course. Um, but it, w it wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, my guildmate was able to help out instantly. Tamago, aka Sam, he was able to carry me uh, for CRA Clown right after I boomed it. So I got my pants back and I was able to get it to 16 stars. So I guess it's it's all worth it, guys. And after getting my pants uh, to 16 stars, I did my dagger just for the heck of it because I was thinking if I get Absolab, I could transpose those 16 stars and that wouldn't be half bad. Um, I also tried to do my hat, which uh, miserably failed, but... <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I think we got a very decent amount of 16 stars. We got like three, four, four equips to 16 stars with two bill. And I think that is pretty darn good. So like I said earlier, we set up our level 200 mules for weekly carries. And my friend Kevin, or aka Parko, uh he was able to carry me for both scrapyard and dark world tree on my wild hunter and my mage uh that helped me 
progress a lot for my Absolab gear. Because of those carries, I was able to get my Absolab glove. Uh, so what I did was go to Henny Park. Uh, I bought literally one flame and it gave me that 5% off stat. So I was like, okay, you know, we take those. Um, and then what I did, I had a potential scroll. So I threw it on my glove and it ended up being epic uh i didn't know how that happened <laughs> um i think it was a normal potential scroll which was interesting uh it came out to be two lines so after ending up but with two lines of potential we stamped it to three lines and it quickly did some star enhance on it we got it to 11 stars because it was very easy with the event that was going on um, and I think later on, we decided to get it to 12 stars just for the heck of it. Even though I'm broke as hell from um, enhancing all my other equips. But I was happy with 12 stars. Uh, what I did was throw some occult cubes on it. I just wanted 7% luck um, to get it going. And to end day 15, what an eventful day, right? Uh, on day 15, we did Hard Magnus Prequest on Mankana so that I'm finally able to queue up for normal and hard um, to hopefully get a carry soon and I can get a Tyrant Cape for the time being before I'm able to get Absolab and all that other good stuff. And after day 15, this is where everything started to poop a bit. My internet provider, um, I'm using Spectrum right now. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I live in New York. Um, I'm using Spectrum and I literally DC off MapleStory like every 5-10 minutes. And that made it impossible for me to stream. Um, so. For day 16, I just didn't stream at all. Day 17, I tried to stream, but I would DC from time to time, but I'll try to cover uh, as much as I can with the footage that I have and I was able to get. So on this day, we were able to get our Damien coins and we got our Absolab shoulder. We then bought a couple of epic potential scrolls, they were 50%. Um, I used my legion coins for it because I, I don't know what else to use those coins for uh, besides leveling up my legion maybe. But uh, we got our shoulder to epic and I used my bossing cubes uh, to try to get some luck on it. It didn't work so we had to use occult cubes again and I was able to get 8% luck on it which isn't bad at all um, I'm keeping all my gear at around epic for now until I have enough money um, and I'll end up doing a cubing video for that since I leveled up some characters to 140 my legion was a little messed up so I looked up a guide on how I should reorganize it and I worked on that real quick. I mean, it's bound to change again since I'm training more characters, but just for now, I changed it up a bit. And after we did some typical dailies, um, the solo dailies that I freaking hate. I don't know about you guys, but I don't mind doing the bossing dailies. But the two dailies that I freaking hate are Commercy, <laughs> the trades that you have to do, and the seven monster park runs. And I guess the seven monster park runs, they're not too bad if you're on your main and you're one-shotting everything. But oh my god, because I'm doing them on my mules, they take forever. Um, but on this day of my stream, we had some fun we actually watched some youtube videos together and <laughs> i also did the cha-cha slide with my maple story character on stream um 
that was pretty silly <laughs> and stupid but <laughs> we do what we gotta do you know on day 18 I made the discovery of <laughs> matrix points in the V matrix I didn't really know how fifth job worked at all since I just came back and I didn't bother really ever to look it up but I realized that I get these matrix points that are pretty much like fifth job skill points um, so I enhanced some nodes and upgraded some of my slots that should have made a big difference in my damage hopefully um, I was able to level up my celestial power rank um, with 600 celestial points you're able to get rank B and you get these extra uh, bonuses um, and you also get this mega character Burninator that I later decide to put on my jet um, because I only have a level 23 jet and I wanted to get to 140 quickly um, for Legion so that's pretty cool it came in really handy sorry that was my cat jumping down from the window <laughs> but after leveling up uh, my celestial rank, I decided to train to 211 because I was really, really close to leveling up. Um, so I was like, might as well, right? It actually didn't take long at all. Uh, I used a rune, a two times coupon, uh, and it was pretty quick. I went to the Choo Choo map, which is ideal for training at my level. And level 211, here we go. But with that, I'm gonna end episode 4 of this series. I should be seeing you guys very soon for episode 5. Um, like I said, I have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like as well as subscribe to my channel and I do stream live on Twitch at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, if you guys sometimes you know I'm late because of work and whatnot or I get distracted um, but if you guys like to know when I go live please follow me on Twitter at soaring poop or just follow my Twitch um, and you'll get notified but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.